Late one night in the living room, an overwhelming silence hung between us, dissolving every unspoken boundary we thought we'd kept intact. It was a night that seemed ordinary at first, just another quiet evening in our suburban home where the only sound was the steady ticking of the hall clock. The stillness felt almost surreal, as if the world itself was holding its breath, waiting. I was lying on my bed, scrolling aimlessly through my phone, letting the soft glow of the screen light up my otherwise dark room. My thoughts were drifting in a dozen different directions, jumping from one thing to another without ever really settling. It was just another sleepless night, or so I thought. But tonight, there was a tension in the air, something that I couldn't quite shake. It's hard to explain. There was nothing outwardly unusual about it, yet my instincts were buzzing with a strange awareness. A part of me wanted to get up, to leave my room and wander the empty halls. But I stayed put, convincing myself it was just my imagination playing tricks on me. Then, a sound broke the silence, a faint knock at my door. Come in, I called, a little too quickly, my voice breaking the stillness. The door creaked open, and there stood my stepfather. He lingered in the doorway for a moment, looking at me with a curious expression that I couldn't quite read. Hey, he said, stepping into the room with a cautious smile. You're still awake? Yeah, I shrugged, trying to sound nonchalant. Couldn't sleep. He nodded as if he understood. I get it. It's one of those nights, huh? He sat down on the edge of my bed, and I felt a strange flutter of nervousness in my stomach. We'd always been close, but lately something felt different. I couldn't put my finger on it, but there was a subtle shift in the way he looked at me, the way he'd linger a moment too long in the doorway, just like he was now. Is everything okay? I asked, hoping to break the silence. He looked down, almost embarrassed, then back up at me with a small smile. Yeah, of course. Just checking in on you. Wanted to make sure you were doing all right. His voice was soft, gentle in a way that made me feel strangely vulnerable. It was like he could see right through me, past all the defenses I'd carefully built. Thanks, I mumbled, looking away, trying to ignore the heat rising to my cheeks. I'm fine, just restless, I guess. He didn't respond right away. Instead, he reached out, placing a comforting hand on my shoulder. His touch was warm, grounding, and for a moment, I felt a sense of calm wash over me, as if everything was finally okay. But then he hesitated, his hand lingering a moment too long, and that calm quickly dissolved into something else, something I couldn't quite understand. There was a beat of silence, and I realized I was holding my breath, waiting for him to say something, anything. But he didn't. He just looked at me, his expression unreadable, like he was trying to figure out what to do next. The air between us felt charged, like we were standing on the edge of something neither of us fully understood. Listen, I... He started, then stopped, shaking his head with a small, awkward laugh. Sorry, I didn't mean to make this weird. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. He stood up, but his eyes lingered on me for a moment longer, searching as if he was waiting for me to say something, to give him a reason to stay. I didn't know what to say. My mind was racing, caught between a dozen different thoughts and emotions, none of which made any sense. I wanted to ask him to stay, to tell him that I needed someone to talk to, but the words stuck in my throat. So I just nodded, offering him a small, reassuring smile. Good night, he murmured, his voice barely more than a whisper. Then, without another word, he turned and slipped out of the room, leaving me alone with my racing heart and a thousand unanswered questions. But that wasn't the end. Not even close. For the next few days, I couldn't get that moment out of my head. The way he had looked at me, the gentle touch of his hand on my shoulder, it all played over and over in my mind, a constant loop that I couldn't escape. I started to wonder if maybe I was just imagining things, if I was reading too much into a simple gesture of concern. 
After all, he was my stepfather. He cared about me. There was nothing unusual about that, right? But every time I tried to convince myself that it was all in my head, something would happen to make me question everything all over again. A lingering glance across the dinner table, a touch that felt just a little too inner, a moment of silence that hung in the air a beat too long. It was like there was an invisible thread between us, something pulling us closer, even though neither of us dared to acknowledge it. Then, one night, I found myself alone with him in the kitchen. Everyone else had gone to bed and we were cleaning up after a late night snack. The quiet hum of the dishwasher filled the room and the soft glow of the overhead light cast long shadows across the floor. It felt strangely close, the two of us standing there side by side in the empty kitchen. I glanced over at him, catching his eye just as he looked up at me. There was something in his gaze that made my heart skip a beat. A softness. A warmth that I hadn't noticed before. For a brief, fleeting moment, it felt like time had stopped. Like we were the only two people in the world. He must have sensed it too, because he cleared his throat, breaking the silence. So, he said, a little too casually, how's everything going? I know things have been different lately. I looked down, trying to gather my thoughts. Yeah, I guess they have, I replied, my voice barely more than a whisper. But it's not bad, just different. He nodded, his expression thoughtful. You know, you can talk to me about anything. I'm here for you, always. His words were comforting, but there was something else there, something unspoken that hung in the air between us. I could feel my cheeks flushing, and I quickly looked away, hoping he wouldn't notice. But he did. He reached out, gently tilting my chin up so I was looking at him again, his eyes soft and understanding. Hey, he murmured, his voice low, soothing. You don't have to hide anything from me. I'm here for you, okay? I nodded, swallowing hard, my heart pounding in my chest. I know. Thanks. He smiled. That same gentle, reassuring smile that always seemed to make everything better. But this time, there was something else in his gaze. A depth, a warmth that made me feel both safe and vulnerable at the same time. It was like he was seeing a part of me that I'd kept hidden for so long, a part that I wasn't even sure I wanted him to see. The moment stretched on, the silence thick with unspoken words. I wanted to say something, to break the tension but the words wouldn't come. So I just stood there, letting the quiet wash over us, feeling the strange, unexplainable connection that had formed between us. And then, just as quickly as it had begun, the moment was over. He let go of my chin, stepping back with a small, awkward smile. I should probably get to bed, he said, his voice light, almost casual. Early morning tomorrow. Yeah, I replied my voice barely more than a whisper. Good night. He hesitated for a moment, as if he wanted to say something else, but then he just nodded and left the room, leaving me alone with my racing thoughts and a heart that felt like it was about to burst. As I stood there in the empty kitchen, I realized that nothing would ever be the same again. For days after that quiet moment in the kitchen, I couldn't shake the feeling that things between us had shifted. I kept replaying the way he'd looked at me, the softness in his gaze that left me both flustered and unsettled. I tried to convince myself it was nothing, just a simple misunderstanding. But deep down, I knew better. I could feel it in the way he lingered just a little too long whenever we were in the same room, in the way his gaze would flicker over to me even when he thought I wasn't paying attention. I told myself I was overthinking it, that it was all in my head. But each passing day only made it harder to deny the strange tension simmering between us. I could sense it whenever he was near, a weight in the air that neither of us dared to acknowledge. Every glance, every casual brush of his hand against mine, seemed to carry an unspoken meaning, a silent invitation that I was too afraid to accept. One evening, I decided to clear my head with a walk around the neighborhood. I told myself the fresh air would help me shake off the confusion clouding my thoughts. I needed to get away, 
to put some distance between us, even if only for a little while. But as I opened the front door, I heard his voice behind me. Going somewhere? I turned, finding him leaning against the doorway with that same casual smile he always wore. But this time, there was a hint of something else in his eyes, something that made my stomach twist. Just going for a walk, I replied, trying to keep my voice steady. He nodded, pushing himself away from the doorframe. Mind if I join you? For a moment, I considered saying no. But before I could find the words, he was already slipping on his jacket and stepping out beside me, his presence warm and solid in the cool night air. We walked in silence for a while, our footsteps echoing softly along the empty street. I kept my eyes fixed on the ground, trying to ignore the way my pulse quickened every time he looked over at me. I wanted to say something, anything, to break the silence, but the words wouldn't come. It was as if the tension between us had taken on a life of its own, filling the space with an unspoken intensity that neither of us could escape. Finally, he broke the silence. You've seemed different lately, he said, his voice low and careful. Is everything okay? I hesitated, unsure of how to answer. How could I explain the confusion? the unease that had taken root inside me. How could I tell him that I felt like I was standing on the edge of something I didn't fully understand, something that scared me even as it pulled me in? I'm fine, I replied, forcing a smile. Just a lot on my mind, I guess. He nodded, his gaze lingering on me for a moment before he looked away. I get that, he said softly. Sometimes it feels like everything's changing, doesn't it? His words hit a nerve, resonating with the turmoil swirling inside me. I looked up at him, searching his face for some hint of what he was really thinking, but his expression was as calm and unreadable as ever, giving nothing away. Yeah, I murmured, my voice barely audible. It does. We continued walking, our footsteps falling into a steady rhythm the silence between us heavy with unspoken words. I could feel the weight of his gaze, the subtle tension in the air, but I forced myself to keep my eyes forward to ignore the fluttering in my chest. I told myself it was just my imagination, that there was nothing unusual about any of this, but a part of me knew that was a lie. As we reached the edge of the neighborhood, he slowed to a stop, turning to face me. Do you ever feel like... You don't quite belong, he asked, his voice barely more than a whisper. There was something vulnerable in his tone, something that made my heart ache with an intensity I didn't understand. I nodded, unsure of how else to respond. It was as if he had reached inside and pulled out the very thoughts I had been trying so hard to ignore. For so long, I had felt like an outsider, like I was living in someone else's life, playing a role that didn't quite fit. And now, standing here with him, I felt that same sense of disconnection, that same quiet longing for something more. Sometimes, I replied, my voice barely audible. Sometimes I feel like I'm missing something, like there's this, this emptiness that I can't fill. He looked at me, his eyes soft and understanding. I know what you mean, he said quietly. It's like, no matter what you do, there's always this part of you that's just out of reach. His words hung in the air between us, heavy and raw. I could feel my heart pounding, my pulse racing as I struggled to make sense of the emotions swirling inside me. I wanted to reach out, to close the distance between us. But I was too afraid of what that might mean, of what it might reveal. We stood there for a long moment neither of us saying a word, just letting the silence fill the space between us. It was as if we were both waiting for something, some unspoken signal that would give us permission to take that final step. But neither of us moved, both caught in the tension that seemed to pull us closer and hold us apart all at once. Finally, he let out a soft sigh, breaking the silence. I guess we should head back, he murmured his voice barely more than a whisper. 
I nodded, unable to trust myself to speak. As we turned and began the walk back home, the tension between us seemed to grow even stronger, an invisible force that pulled at my heart and left me feeling both exhilarated and terrified. I couldn't shake the feeling that something had changed, that we had crossed some invisible line that could never be uncrossed. Back at the house, he paused in the doorway, glancing back at me with a look that made my heart skip a beat. Good night, he said, his voice soft, almost hesitant. Good night, I replied, my voice barely more than a whisper. He lingered for a moment, his eyes searching mine, as if he were trying to read the thoughts I was too afraid to voice. Then, with a small nod, he turned and disappeared down the hall leaving me alone with the silence and the racing of my own heart. But the story didn't end there. If anything, it was only just beginning. In the days that followed, the tension between us seemed to intensify, growing stronger with every shared glance, every casual touch that lingered a moment too long. I could feel the pull, the quiet, unspoken connection that bound us together, even as we both tried to ignore it. It was as if we were both caught in a dance, each step bringing us closer to a line we knew we shouldn't cross but couldn't resist. One evening, I found myself alone in the living room, scrolling through the TV channels in an attempt to distract myself from the thoughts that had been haunting me. I was barely paying attention to the screen when I heard him enter the room. I glanced up, feeling my heart skip a beat as he settled onto the couch beside me, his presence warm and familiar. Mind if I join you? He asked, his voice low and calm, though there was an edge to it that made my pulse quicken. Of course not, I replied, trying to keep my tone casual even as my heart raced in my chest. We sat in silence, the flickering light of the TV casting shadows across the room. I could feel the tension between us, thick and electric, filling the space with an intensity that was both thrilling and terrifying. I wanted to say something, to break the silence, but the words wouldn't come. It was as if we were both waiting, caught in a moment that felt both inevitable and impossible to escape. After a while, he shifted, leaning a little closer, his arm brushing against mine. The touch was brief, almost accidental, but it sent a shiver down my spine, leaving me breathless and dizzy with a mix of emotions I couldn't begin to understand. I glanced over at him, catching the flicker of something in his eyes, something that made my heart race even faster. He didn't say a word, didn't move, just held my gaze with a quiet intensity that left me feeling both exposed and exhilarated. I could feel my pulse pounding in my ears, my mind racing as I tried to make sense of the emotions swirling inside me. It was as if everything we had been holding back, everything we had been too afraid to acknowledge, was finally coming to the surface, demanding to be faced. I wanted to say something, to ask him what he was thinking, but the words stuck in my throat. All I could do was sit there, caught in the quiet, electric tension that seemed to fill the room, feeling the pull between us grow stronger with every passing second. And as the silence stretched on, I realized that there was no turning back. We were standing on the edge of something neither of us fully understood, something that both terrified and thrilled me in equal measure. But I knew one thing for certain. Whatever happened next, nothing would ever be the same. I couldn't avoid him forever. Every encounter, every accidental brush of hands, every lingering glance had been tightening the web we were both caught in. And no matter how hard I tried to pull away, I kept getting drawn back, deeper and deeper into something I couldn't fully understand, something neither of us could resist. It was one of those late nights, the house silent and dim, when I found myself alone with him again, this time in the living room. The lights were low, casting soft shadows across the room, and the quiet hum of the evening made everything feel slower, as if time itself had slowed down just for us. I could feel my pulse quicken as he came in, casually settling beside me on the couch, so close that his presence alone seemed to make the air thicker, warmer. Couldn't sleep? he asked, 
his voice barely above a whisper, breaking the silence without disturbing it. I nodded, unable to find my voice. The words felt too heavy, too dangerous, and I knew that speaking them aloud would break whatever fragile control we had left. Instead, I looked down, fidgeting with the fabric of my shirt, acutely aware of the way his gaze lingered on me, soft yet intense, like he was seeing a part of me that no one else could. Me neither, he murmured, leaning back, his arm draped casually across the back of the couch. I felt the brush of his fingers against my shoulder, a gentle, almost accidental touch that made my heart race. Every inch between us felt charged, the air buzzing with a tension that neither of us dared to acknowledge. I turned to look at him, catching the way his eyes softened as they met mine. There was something there, something raw and unguarded, and for a moment, it felt like we were both stripped bare, our secrets laid out between us, unspoken but undeniable. He didn't look away, didn't hide the way he felt, and I realized that he was just as caught up in this as I was. Then, slowly, he leaned closer, his face inches from mine. I could feel his breath warm against my skin and my heart hammered in my chest, every nerve in my body alive with anticipation and fear. I wanted to move, to pull away, but I was frozen, caught in the intensity of the moment, in the way his gaze held me captive. Neither of us spoke. The silence between us was thick, almost suffocating. And yet it was the only thing keeping us grounded, keeping us from falling over the edge. I could feel my resolve slipping, feel the quiet, insistent pull between us drawing me closer, making it impossible to think, impossible to resist. And then, before I knew what was happening, his hand moved, his fingers brushing softly against my cheek. The touch was light, almost hesitant, as if he were testing the waters, waiting for me to pull away. But I didn't. I couldn't. My heart pounded in my chest, and I felt myself leaning into his touch, felt the warmth of his skin against mine, grounding me, calming the storm of emotions raging inside me. His thumb traced gently along my jawline, his gaze never leaving mine. There was a question in his eyes, a silent request that he didn't need to voice, and I knew that whatever happened next was up to me. The choice was mine, and for a brief, fleeting moment, I considered pulling away, breaking the spell that had drawn us together. But the thought vanished as quickly as it came replaced by a quiet, insistent need that I couldn't ignore. Before I could second-guess myself, I closed the distance between us, letting my lips brush against his in a soft, tentative kiss. It was a gentle, almost hesitant touch, but the effect was immediate, a spark igniting between us that left me breathless and dizzy. His hand slipped to the back of my neck, pulling me closer, deepening the kiss and I felt myself melting into him, letting go of the fear, the uncertainty, the doubts that had held me back for so long. His lips were warm and soft, and as our kiss deepened, I felt a rush of emotions that I couldn't begin to describe. It was as if everything I had been holding back, everything I had been too afraid to face, was finally set free. And in that moment, there was nothing else in the world but the two of us wrapped in each other's warmth, lost in a connection that went beyond words. We pulled apart, breathless, our faces inches apart, and I could see the same mix of emotions reflected in his eyes, fear, desire, confusion, and something deeper, something that made my heart ache in a way that was both exhilarating and terrifying. He didn't say anything, didn't break the silence that had settled between us, Instead, he reached for my hand, his fingers lacing through mine, grounding me, anchoring me in a moment that felt both impossibly real and like a dream. I could feel the steady beat of his pulse beneath my fingertips, a quiet reassurance that told me I wasn't alone, that he felt it too. For a long, breathless moment, we just sat there, letting the silence speak for us, letting the weight of what had happened settle over us. It was as if we were both afraid to move, afraid that any sudden motion would shatter the fragile connection we had built, leaving us adrift in a sea of questions and doubts. Finally, he spoke, 
his voice soft and raw. Are you okay? I nodded, swallowing hard, my throat tight with a mix of emotions that I couldn't begin to unravel. Yeah, I whispered, my voice barely audible. I think... I think I am. He squeezed my hand gently, his gaze never leaving mine. Good, he murmured, his voice a quiet, comforting presence in the stillness. I just... I want you to know that you don't have to go through this alone. Whatever this is, we're in it together. His words brought a sense of calm, a quiet reassurance that soothed the storm inside me. And for the first time in what felt like forever, I felt a sense of peace, a sense of belonging that I had never known before. I knew that whatever lay ahead, whatever challenges we might face, we would face them together, side by side. We stayed like that for a long time, our hands intertwined, our breaths mingling in the quiet closeness of the moment. It was as if the world outside had faded away, leaving only the two of us, wrapped in a connection that went beyond words, beyond reason, beyond anything I had ever known. And as the night wore on, as the silence deepened and the world slipped into darkness, I felt a quiet, steady warmth blossom in my chest. A warmth that told me that, somehow, everything would be okay. But I knew that this was only the beginning. There were still questions to be answered, still fears to be faced. And as much as I wanted to hold on to this moment forever, I knew that we couldn't stay hidden from the world. Sooner or later, we would have to step back into the light to face whatever awaited us beyond the safety of these walls. Yet, for now, I allowed myself to let go to sink into the warmth of his presence, to lose myself in the quiet, unspoken connection that bound us together. It was a fragile, delicate thing, this connection we had built. But in that moment, it felt like the strongest, most beautiful thing in the world. I felt his arm wrap around me, pulling me closer, and I rested my head against his shoulder, letting out a soft sigh of contentment. There were no words, no explanations, just the quiet understanding that we were both exactly where we needed to be. And in that silence, in that quiet, perfect moment, I knew that whatever challenges lay ahead, whatever trials we would face, we would face them together. In the days that followed, everything felt different. I moved through my routines as if nothing had changed, but there was an awareness simmering beneath the surface a quiet hum that lingered between us. We spoke less, but every glance, every touch carried a weight that said more than words ever could. It was as if we were both silently trying to figure out what had happened and what it meant, each of us too afraid to say it aloud, too afraid to shatter the fragile bond we had created. At home, we kept a careful distance, our conversations light, almost formal, as if neither of us dared to step too close. But every time I caught him looking at me, a part of me ached with the memory of that night, of the closeness we'd shared, of the quiet comfort of his presence beside me. I knew that things couldn't go back to the way they were, that whatever lines we'd crossed had changed everything between us. And yet, I couldn't shake the feeling that there was more, that we had only begun to understand what bound us together. One evening, as the sun was setting, casting a warm, golden light across the living room, he came in and sat down beside me. We didn't speak, just sat there in the fading light, the silence comfortable, like we had settled into a new kind of understanding. I could feel his gaze on me, soft and warm, and I fought the urge to reach out to close the distance that still lay between us. After a while he spoke, his voice barely more than a whisper, I don't know what this is, he admitted, his tone gentle, cautious. But I can't pretend it didn't happen. I looked at him, my heart pounding as I tried to find the words to explain what I felt. But nothing I could say seemed right. Nothing felt strong enough to capture the mix of emotions swirling inside me. Instead, I simply nodded, letting him know that I understood, that I felt it too. We can't just ignore it, he continued his gaze intense, his eyes searching mine for some sign, some clue as to what I was thinking. 
I don't want to make things harder for you, but I can't pretend it didn't mean anything. His words hung in the air, heavy with the weight of everything we had left unsaid. I felt a lump form in my throat, my emotions tangled and raw, and for a moment, I didn't know if I wanted to laugh or cry. I felt like I was standing on the edge of something vast and unknown, something that both terrified and exhilarated me. I don't know what this is either, I admitted, my voice barely audible, but I know it's not something I want to lose. A flicker of relief crossed his face, and he reached out, his hand settling gently on mine. His touch was warm, grounding, and in that moment, it felt like we were the only two people in the world. I looked down at our hands, his fingers laced through mine, and I felt a quiet strength, a sense of calm that I hadn't felt in a long time. We sat there in silence, letting the weight of our connection settle over us, and I knew that whatever happened next, we would face it together. There were still questions, still fears that lingered in the back of my mind, but in that moment, none of it mattered. All that mattered was the quiet, unspoken bond that had brought us together, that had given us the courage to step beyond the boundaries we had once thought unbreakable. As the weeks went by, we settled into a quiet, unspoken rhythm, a kind of understanding that needed no words. There were still moments of uncertainty, still nights when I lay awake wondering what the future held. But in the light of day, when he was there beside me, all my fears seemed to fade away, replaced by a sense of peace, a sense of belonging that I had never known before. But of course, the world has a way of complicating even the simplest of things. One evening, as we were sitting together, lost in a comfortable silence, I heard the familiar sound of footsteps in the hallway, followed by a soft knock at the door. My heart skipped a beat, my pulse quickening as I realized that we were no longer alone. Hey, you guys in here? The voice was cheerful, familiar, and for a brief, heart-stopping moment, I felt a surge of panic rise in my chest. He looked at me, his eyes wide with a mix of surprise and worry, and I could see the same fear mirrored in his expression. We had been so careful, so mindful of keeping our connection hidden, and now, in an instant, it felt like everything was slipping out of our control. The door opened, and there she stood, smiling, her gaze shifting between us with a look of curiosity. I forced myself to keep calm, to act as if everything was perfectly normal, even as my heart pounded in my chest. We exchanged pleasantries, making small talk as if nothing had changed, as if we were just two people sharing a quiet moment on a regular evening. But beneath the surface, I could feel the tension building, the weight of the secret we shared pressing down on me, making it hard to breathe. I glanced over at him, catching the flicker of worry in his eyes, and I knew that he felt it too, that he understood the risk we were taking, the delicate balance we had to maintain. As the conversation continued, I felt a strange mix of relief and regret, a part of me wishing we could go back to the way things were, back to the simplicity of a life without secrets. But I knew that was impossible. We had crossed a line, had ventured into a place that could never be undone, and now we had to live with the consequences to carry the weight of our choices in silence. When she finally left, the door closing softly behind her, I let out a breath I hadn't realized I'd been holding. He reached out, his hand settling on my shoulder, a silent reassurance that told me he was there, that I wasn't alone in this. We're going to be okay, he murmured, his voice steady, comforting. I nodded, my heart still racing, but his words brought a sense of calm, a quiet strength that helped me push past the fear and uncertainty. I knew that there would be challenges ahead, that we would have to be careful, that the path we had chosen was far from easy. But in that moment, as I looked into his eyes, I knew that it was worth it, that whatever hardships we might face, we would face them together. And in the end, that was all that mattered. As the days turned into weeks, we learned to navigate the delicate balance of our connection finding ways to be together without drawing attention, creating a space where we could be ourselves without fear. 
There were still moments of doubt, still nights when I lay awake, wondering if we were making a mistake, if we were risking too much. But every time those doubts crept in, he was there, steady and unwavering, his presence a quiet reminder that I wasn't alone, that we were in this together. One night, as we sat together in the fading light, he looked at me, his gaze soft and unguarded. No matter what happens, he whispered, his voice a quiet promise, we'll find a way. We always do. I smiled, feeling a warmth blossom in my chest, a quiet, steady confidence that soothed all my fears. In that moment, I knew that whatever lay ahead, whatever challenges we might face, we would face them side by side, together. And as the world around us continued to turn, as the days faded into nights and the seasons changed, we found a kind of peace, a kind of quiet, unspoken happiness that made all the struggles, all the sacrifices worth it. It wasn't always easy, and there were still moments of doubt, still nights when I wondered what the future held. But as long as he was there, as long as we had each other, I knew that we could face anything. And maybe, in the end, that was all we needed.